Well good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now here we are looking at the uh, frags I promise you, the little bits of stuff that I'm trying to grow on to stop them dying off. I mean frags are difficult to get over here now, you know, with us uh, being in Brexit we can't get uh, plants from abroad now and there's two places I think in this country where we can buy frags but uh, they're so expensive it's unbelievable. I don't think uh, you'd be able to get a frag uh, from one of these dealers for less than sort of uh, hundred dollars, something like that. But uh, that's how it is, and uh, we've got to put up with it. It's like the phalaenopsis; we have to rely on the uh, eBay what there is there, and you know some of the qualities you get off eBay. But uh, really there's nowhere in this country we can buy decent plants at the right plant price. So that's why I'm trying to grow these on from little things. And the smallest one I've got is this one, which is a bit of Olaf Gross. And it's coming up with a nice new group. Let's see if we can get hold of it properly. It's only in a small pot. Let's try again. Oops. There we are, it's coming up with one nice growth there, only small yet but they aren't a, they aren't a large plant these, uh, another little growth coming up there, so I'm quite, uh, well I'm, I won't say I was pleased with them but uh, I've got slight hope that they're going to do okay. Here's another one, I haven't got a name for it but I know it's a Phragmopedium. And this is in charcoal and there's uh, a new growth coming up there but not much to show you it's just a case of, uh, of waiting and hoping and I'm trying different potting medias to see if they come on because uh, I mean if you go back in my uh, videos for years ago I had some beautiful big phragmopediums and uh, I could keep them in anything at all. They'd, they'd be right in uh, bark, sphagnum, rocks, anything you could put them in, they will grow, provided you keep them wet with good quality water. And that's what I'm trying to do with these. Here's another one that uh, seems to be growing okay, but I can assure you this has got a huge rootstock with no roots coming from it just like a solid block of wood at the bottom so uh, I don't know what to make of these really I know there's uh, a couple doing really well so I'll show you those ones in a little while another one I don't have the name for these because uh, I seem to have lost all the labels Now this is a grandy, I know that, and uh, this is doing okay, this is coming on and this has got some nice uh, nice roots in the bottom, more growth coming up there, nice new growth there, so I'm, I'm hopeful for this one. A bit difficult showing you these because they're not very good plants, but uh, you know we keep struggling to bring them on and we can't get any more, so uh, what else is there to do but try and struggle with them and try things that uh, that may do them good may do them harm and they'll die off but uh, that's something we've got to put up with but that's a nice growth there and the leaves are nice so uh, this one in particular should be doing okay and there's one here Phragmopedium uh, Yelva Myra which I repotted in November 22 so it's about 18 months old since I did this and there was just this bit of plant in it and uh, this is in bark and I'm soaking it in sort of uh, a little bit of water all the time it's got nice roots on it now and plenty and plenty of new growths and all those new growths have, just, have come on in the last 18 months so uh, that's another one I'm hopeful for and there's some roots there that's going down into the 
or all water so hopefully this one will be okay but uh, as I said before I'm not holding a lot of hope up for, for uh, frags these days well that's about my limit for Phragmapediums I've got now to show you I have no more and uh, I don't propose to buy any more so well, I'll just have to see how these are getting on so uh, thanks very much for watching I'll keep updated on these if anything happens good or bad and until then thanks for watching and until next time I'll see you later